Let's do it. Hey, everybody. You are watching and listening to We Are Rising podcast. This is your host, Andrew Benjamin, and I'm joined by my co-host, Jay Christian Gary, all the way from downtown in the southern state of, of Texas. What's good, y'all? And <laughs> we got a very special guest for y'all to feast your eyes on, but obviously we would give him an introduction, but we're just going to give him a very brief. He's a 5'8", 155-pound martial arts extraordinaire representing Wajuku Keshu Kai Hearts, Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan, with a 2 and one professional MMA record. He is supposed to be facing off against UFC veteran Issei Tamur at Pancrase 321 on May 30th, and we hope damn well that he's going to show this UFC veteran that even though he has a little less experience. He's got more heart than he got bite. Introducing for the second time to the We Are Rising podcast, Mr. Hirotaka Nakata. Nakata son, Gang Desuka. How are you? Hey. Uh, <laughs> you're you're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to go. So, uh, Nakata son, before we go talk about your fight against Tamara, I want to talk about your last fight. Your first mm-hmm. finish of your pro career. Yes. How yes. did it feel to get your first pro your pro uh, uh, finish? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, right, right after he fell down the ground and I uh, pun- punched on in his face and I feel like you know it was the like I think it was the one of the best experience I've ever had in my life. It makes me feel so excited. My I think the adrenaline comes up like from like everywhere inside from my body. And I was like, whoa, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think yeah, it felt so good. And then I, I, I wanted to, I always wanted to you know, uh, climb up on the cage and scream, whoa, and <laughs> I did it for the uh, first time. Uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so I got, I got to ask, was that the, is that how this fight came about? Cause you are now, you're facing as Christian said, UFC, former UFC fighter, former pancreas champion, Issei Tamara. Yes, did did, yes, they, yes. did uh, the people at Pancras uh, say you did so good in your la- in this fight? We want to give you a bigger fight. Is that how it came oh, out? Yeah, I firstly we me and Osawa-san was well, waited for the next stopper from the Road to One. Uh, it's from the Abe- Abema show. It's a Road to One. It's a uh, it's for the one championship. Né? Uh, it's a selection, you know, uh, com- for the one championship. Né? For and then we are waiting for the next offer from that, but uh, Pankras gave us more good offer né, for us mm-hmm. against this Tamara. He's, he's a legendary fighter, so I uh, accepted. And when when my when Kenji-san told me that uh, you, do you want to fight against him, and I said, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I took mm-hmm. him right away. Né? Yeah. What is your impression? You you did say he's a legend, but what is your impression? Of him as a fighter, I'm guessing you've oh. seen a few of his fights. Like, what do we, what do you think of him as a fighter? Uh, my impression about him is like he's from the crazy team, eh? Kit Yamamoto's uh, gyms. Mm-hmm. He's uh, like clue from the from that gym. My impression is, and then he all he has uh, he has like a really good wins. Uh, and he fought against a lot of legends. And I, I I've seen him fight uh, as a fan eh? when I. When I uh, wasn't started this uh, MMA, né? and he's a legend né, for me, and mm-hmm. I, I'm, I was so honored to have this fight there. When I, you know, I f- I came I came this stage, né? and now I felt like I I really came to the level, mm-hmm. <laughs> of, you know, mm-hmm. against the legendary fighter. I'm so honored and excited. Né? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, it is a, it is an, because yes. to go from where, you know, this is going to be your, f- this is going to be your fourth pro fight and you're yes, facing, yes, just, yeah. <laughs> you're already facing, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you've, you've climbed, you've jumped up the ladder. You jumped yes, up the yes. ladder. Um, yes. th- how, how does Osawa, so Osawa told you about the fight. Like, what does he, how does he feel you taking on such uh, he, a high level fighter? Th- he told me that, uh, you know, uh, Everyone, everyone thinks that I'm I'm gonna lose for like ninety nine percent, but uh, yeah, but like, but I, I also think like I, I have like ten percent win uh, for the winning, because you know uh, 
have we have a like strategy for the next fight and if i uh you know if i've done the strategy né, really well i i know i that i i'm going to win né? Mm-hmm. and then uh, i i have the, i have the confidence that i i i'm the one who make it happen in a, in a 10% to the deal you know mm-hmm. my possibility one of the thing about now, oh. i got i got a question right. to ask Andrew, if you mind mm-hmm. mr nakata when it comes down to facing off against somebody like isei tomula do you feel that with the record that Tomula has 13 and 11 overall. Obviously, he's a UFC veteran, but do you feel that he's underestimating you a bit? Yeah, I think he does a. Uh, yeah, maybe he thinks that he I'm not a uh, uh, flat for him, and then I think uh, if if he thinks that in that way, I can take the advantage of it, né? because I can I have nothing to lose. I just, just you know. <laughs> Put him uh, the one I got. I can, you know. <laughs> Understood. Makai yes, yes. Andrew. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, so I also wanted it. So one of the things that that uh, that Tamara is well known for is he's a very strong puncher. He can knock out guys with one punch, or yeah. at least at least make them make him very. Uh, wobbly disoriented from his from his punches um is this the type of guy that you, now you knocked out the last guy that you fought but for i'm not going to ask your strategy because i don't obviously we don't want to give that away but do for a fighter like tamara do you is, is it wise to to stand up with a fighter like that or do you how where do you see this fight going uh in your eyes oh that is in my eyes because uh, like you said he has really strong uh, punch there he mm-hmm. has really he has really good one shot to take out of his opponent now i have seen so many fights like uh like lesson to you know holie yoshinori holie mm-hmm. he got knocked out. i i i i know him there and he got knocked out and um, really bad and uh, yeah he has good punch but also i also have the confidence for that i'm really uh i don't know how to say it in english job i'm really i i can take punches <laughs> Yo, basically <laughs> your chin is granted your chin is made granted and you're pretty much strong jaw so to speak yeah 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 exactly exactly what that exactly what i mean the man and then um, i don't want to uh, i want to take i i'm going you know what i'm saying is uh I have, I have a confidence to take him punch in, right in my face, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or, you know, uh, a, a way that you could also say it is that your uh, chin, chin, uh, gachi yes, muchi, yes. chin gachi muchi. Yes. Lots yes, of yes. muscles in the chin. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Strong chin. <laughs> um, Strong neck, man. <laughs> now, if you, now you beat him, let's say, you know, you knock him out or you just like w- uh, wipe the floor of him for three rounds. What would you want next uh, in Pancras? If Pancras can do, says Nakata-san, okay, you beat Tamara, former champion. What What would you want next? Would you want a shot at the current oh. champion? Or how, yeah. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure about it yet, but uh, I, if, I don't know. I just, <laughs> if they give me a really good offer, then I, I'll be like, yeah, I do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I don't think, you know, about I just want to fight. <laughs> mm-hmm. I gotcha. I think about, you know, fighting. <laughs> Another interesting, I really want to ask, because this is, I th- is this your first fight at featherweight? Or is this your second yes, fight? Yes, yes, yes. So it's okay. my uh, first time to lose, uh, like, to till the 65.8 kilo. Yeah, so it's, everything is really challenging this time but i'm really excited about it because i really love challenge i really love to you know yeah to go on the edge so and for for those yeah, that so excited for the american audiences using uh the different metric system uh, that is 15 pounds for those that uh that yes. don't that don't know kilos. Uh, so is this so with this weight cut? Do, do you how are you finding this this first time cutting this weight? Is this something that you're finding difficult? Is it easy? How is it so far? 
Oh, I keep I keep my weight around like uh, 73 kilo now, and then I I think I gained down to the to like around 10, 70 or like 71, and then I uh, really uh, uh, lose my weight really slowly. Yeah? Mm, and then, okay. yeah. Any chance we'll see you go down to? Um... Let me see what the uh, conversion rate is for that. Uh, any chance that you'll ever go down to 61 kilos? Uh, Bandom weight? Yes. Bandom mm-hmm. weight? <laughs> That's, uh, I, I don't know. Now. I think if I'm, I, <laughs> Bandom weight, man. Uh, maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about it yet, but I mean, my first kind of, time to. Come to think of it, Mr. Nakata, it would probably be hard for you trying to get down from 67 to 61 kilos, 145 to 135 in U.S. pounds, because, you know, that conversion rate, that 10-pound conversion rate, or I think, what, about six kilos, that would probably be hard for you to do, but, I mean, you can probably be able to muster that without, you know, doing much of the, I mean, what am I trying to say? You can probably do much of that without breaking a sweat, really. Uh, so I also wanted to ask as well. So your Instagram, I follow you on Instagram. You changed your handle. I, I, it's yeah, now yeah, yeah. Hi- Hirotaka the Dragon. <laughs> is that is that your MMA, your Kagotogi nickname, the Dragon? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, uh, I was there was some image that I I've got in my mind. Eh? Uh, mm. So. So there's a story from China. So there's a uh, one. Uh, there's a really big river in the China, né? around the Yellow River, né? and then there was a uh, really fishes in in that river, and they tried to swim up the swim up the uh, uh, river, and then try to go, you know, the upper up of there and to make it living. Né? And uh, but uh, there was really big fall, and uh, there lots of fishes uh, couldn't uh, uh, you know go up the waterfall but uh, the one one red cup they didn't uh, give up né? and then and, and he he tried to you know put him body to the waterfall like for so many times né? and this and one day he became a drunk one and fired right away to the sky né? and then mm-hmm. I really got inspired from that story né? I think it's really true né? if you keep <clears throat> like doing uh keep doing things every day and then you become really uh, be grow on eh? when you, someday eh? so i believe in the in growing and uh, and uh, i last uh, since my last fight i felt like i i did it became i did it changed i did it changed as a person i did it changed as a fighter too eh? so mm-hmm. so i thought you know this is a really good time to change my personality, change mm-hmm. my personality, and change my like attitude, attitude. You know? Mm-hmm. We uh, yeah, yeah. Wakari Mas, Wakari Mas. So when they when they introduce you, are they going to be saying Hirotaka the Dragon Nakata? Is that what? They, yeah. Is that or, the or Cage Cage Dragon. Cage, yeah, cage Dragon. dragon. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, my dream is uh, someday, you know, I re- got released from the cage uh, and then fly away uh, to the. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, place. you know what? If you end <laughs> no, up I'm going to Ryzen, if you, end, if you end up going to Ryzen or, you know, that damn one championship, if you end up going to either one of those promotions, I'm pretty sure you can probably pull off an entrance like that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, well, I'm, I'm curious to know because uh, I know that you we've talked to you before, and one of the things that you say that your goal is getting to is it still UFC at this point, or hasn't changed at, the, or, or, mm, or, you, or is yeah, it, I really, I did. Oh, I have a really strong feeling for UFC too, but I would always have like same feeling for Rising uh, One Championship too. So, if I got any chance like if any opportunity i I would grab it but my you know i always uh thinking about them it's like a liking person (laughs) or something like that Mm -hmm. (laughs) so if i got opportunity i grab it so i don't but uh, i'm not 
I'm not making crown for it. Man. I just go with the throw. I got you. I got you. Um, uh, cause, uh, well, one of the things I've also uh, wanted to know is, are you going to be watching the Olympics this year? Oh, I'm not sure about it, but, uh, I don't know if they can do it or not, man. but uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. are you <laughs> sure you're going to be watching it? It's going to be in Tokyo and it's only the biggest sporting event in the world. Yeah. 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 Do you think they can uh, also like? Uh, I think. It, do you think it's the, with the audience or like no audience? I I heard it was no audience. I heard no audience. Oh, no well. audience. Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe then. then uh, he Andrew heard that there was going to be no audience. I heard that it was going to be no foreigners coming in to Japan to see the events. Oh, I heard no. Oh, really? I heard. I heard no audience. No gaijin. No audience. Just like no oh, one. Really? Empty, yeah. empty arena, empty arena. How, uh, how uh, that's what I, I thought I heard. Maybe it's changed. I, I have a friend uh, from Belgium, and is, uh, her sister is com gonna compete in the Olympic this year, this from this summer. And she's she said she's ready to come to here. So I thought uh, the Olympic is gonna uh, uh, do uh, as uh, for as planned, but uh, I'm not sure about the audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so actually, I'm I'm curious to know as well as uh, what, how do you how, how, how do you feel that Japan has done with this whole thing with the coronavirus? Do you think they've done a Do you think the government has done a good job? Because one thing is that there's there's still no foreigners allowed. They yeah. still not allow. It's and you know I think there's very strict quarantine measures. They're strict. Oh, do you think Japan has done a good job overall compared to yeah. the world? because Japanese they really follow the rules, man. Not like the other country. Japanese are really, they really know. They always put the mask on when they are like when you see the town and everyone wears a mask. Everyone wash their hands. And they really, uh, you know, discipline. So our like uh, amount of the uh, the corona, you know, uh, patient they really uh. Low, 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 not that much ne, than the, mm. any other countries. Ne? So I think they, they, they done really well. But yeah. <laughs> uh, so I also want to ask: Are you? Are you? Do you still cross train with uh, Kitaoka at Lotus Setagaya? At Lotus, yes. Sometimes I go, but I haven't go there for for three weeks, four weeks. Yes. Okay. Because um... now, yeah, because uh, Lotus Setagaya. Uh, at uh, Isetamura practice in there. Oh, so, he does? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's okay. Wow. So, okay. So, in terms of like jujitsu grappling, are you just, are you staying mainly at uh, Os Osawa uh, with Osawa at the uh, Keshikai Hearts? Is that where you're doing? Yes. Music? Yes. And uh, I, I got, yeah, yes. Osawa sound. And then, you know, Kimihiro Ito. Kimiro Eto, yes. he's uh, our, our teammate uh, who competes in one championship and he has really, really good wrestling and uh, grappling skills. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he, he taught us, like, he, he always teach us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, also, yeah. Uh, also, I'm guessing you're also learning stuff from uh, to uh, Toshiomi-san. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who also, by the way, did fantastic finish at the same show. Yeah, that you're at. yeah, it was a crazy finish, yeah. <laughs> Like <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the first time I've ever seen a twister, a twister, twister. TKO punch finish. I don't yeah. think I've ever done before. <laughs> wow. Um, so, uh, so with this fight, what do you? Because also, here's the other thing as well that uh, we learned just recently is that this fight will be available internationally, and yes. English commentary. Oh, For, really? Yes, yes. Uh, Stuart Ooh. Fulton and uh, I, I believe Stuart Fulton and Mark Pickering are doing the uh, commentary. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Those dudes that you talked to before, Andrew, those dudes <laughs> really well when it comes down to, you know, putting over Japanese combat sports to an international audience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so for, for foreign audiences that may have never seen you fight before, mm -hmm. what, do, what do you want them to uh gain from seeing you fight what do you want them to understand about you as a fighter oh as my fighter um just i want them to see i just want to 
just feel feel me feel me <laughs> I, I put i put everything man i put everything i i put i really bound my bound my burning my soul man, to like uh, live live like every each day and then i i put everything i i'm gonna put everything in the moment everything so i want you to guys to see see that man my my soul <laughs> mm-hmm. Chris, I'm going to pass it off to you for, uh, if you have any more questions for Nakata-san. Um, all I got to ask is, Nakata-san, obviously you have managed to gain yourself a little bit of a fan base with the fact that you've already fought three fights as a professional. And obviously we did ask you if, you know, you wanted to go fight in promotions like the UFC Rising or the Down One Championship, but Still, when it comes down to your future fight, I mean, when it comes down to what you want to do in your future, do you potentially see yourself continuing to train at Waijusu Keshukai Hearts, or do you want to eventually train abroad, like in Europe or in the United States, for instance? If I get, if I get the chance, like if I have like a yeah, I I would love to training in the foreign country. That's one of my dream. And then, uh, yes, if I have a really good connection, like or like a, I don't know how to say, like a connection, eh? then then I I'd go for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Understood. Bukalimas, Bukalimas. And obviously, we know you're fighting Issei Tomula. Pancrase three two one May thirtieth. It's gonna be. Ooh, I guess I have. Sorry, Chris. I gotta ask this as well because I'm really curious to know what if if you ever got a call from Sakaki Barasan from Ryzen to fight Shibatar, would you take the fight? <laughs> I would love to beat beat Shibatar. <laughs> yes, I would yes. love to beat. I, I, I mean, we all would love to see. To be honest, we all would love to see you beat the shit out of the Chiba Tar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and actually, um, speak, speaking of that, I'm curious to know: Do you plan to follow what a lot of Japanese Kagutoki fighters are doing? Is making a YouTube channel or doing something like that? Do you see yourself ever doing something like that? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was gonna. Uh, Try uh, like uh, try to open uh, my YouTube account, but uh, I felt like mm, it was not the timing, so I stopped it. So maybe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, because yeah. you you would have a you would have a significant advantage because you can speak both English and Japanese. So yes, you could, yes, you could easily uh, talk to both audiences. Oh it... yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah, you true, want to you would only be one of the few, at least on either side of the world, that could actually be able to communicate in both English and Japanese to audiences around the world. Yes. I mean, I know, the, <laughs> I know a few people that I can actually do that, but I don't want to get off into name and names. Otherwise, this would be a long show as it is. But still, you got Issei Tomura, May 30th. Yes. Let's just say if he's listening to this right now in either English or Japanese or if his interpreters are just, I mean, or if his fight crew is just listening to this at Crazy be thinking, what is this dude talking about with these two foreigners? What would be the words that you would say to Tamura, you know, if you two were just standing face to face, staring down, looking to fight each other? Uh, um... Take your, time. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to see his eyes, man. When I when I see him, I want. I always I always see uh, my opponent's eyes. So like when 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 I have the opportunity, then I always see look into their their eyes and how how they how they you know are ready ready for it. Man. So I want. I didn't want to. I'm so excited to see his eyes, man. I mean, obviously, you would want to look into his eyes just to see if he's, you know, feeling a little bit guilty. But if you see into his eyes, would you fear that he is underestimated? I mean, I already asked you this, but if you see into his eyes, 
when you're staring him down? Would you fear that? Would you feel that he's kind of fearing you or underestimating you? I don't think so, no, because he's he had so many experiences. That he, I think, he really knows it. He really knows it. So I wanted to feel his feeling. Understood. Yes. Yes. Now, other than that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this out since you, Andrew, got the opportunity to close it out the last time we did it. But still, Pancrase three two one i pay per view twitcasting dot tv or i guess twitcasting.com right i thought it was pronounced tiget that's how i pronounce it tiget i could be entirely oh, wrong tiget. yeah tiget i pay per view check your local listings check your time check your calendar but whenever that event's going to be taking place i know it's going to be taking place around the time we're doing this interview right now which would be 3 a.m eastern midnight pacific i have here uh, um, 1 p.m japan standard time so may 30th 1 p.m so that would be, yeah, that would be about the same time as this or a few hours. Yeah, ago. that would be around the same time, which would be for us, midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Central. But still, Mr. Tamuda, no, damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for messing your name up. But Mr. Nakata, it's been fun talking with you. It's been a pleasure getting a chance to talk with you these last two times. I'm sorry for my screw up, sir. I'm sorry. I'm pleasure. I'm, no, 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 no. Don't be sorry. I'm pleasure to uh, having a conversation with you guys, Tune. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. But other than that, I hope that you have a great match with Tamula. I hope that you do well against Tamula. And hopefully, the next time we talk to you, if it's not in a rising ring, we hope that you get that opportunity to fight for some King of Pancrase gold down the line. Mm-hmm. Or whether that be, yeah, Ryzen, one, UFC, whatever comes your way, you know, hey, one is now on is now on American television now. Yeah. So if you, if yeah. you ever got the chance to uh, get signed of one, hey, you know what, you could, you could, you could be seen on American television, which would be quite, which would be mm-hmm. quite, uh, step either up. on an American television channel like TNT or an American streaming platform like Bleach Report Live, either way, you would get tons of popularity in these United States, especially wow. from the two of us. That's mm-hmm. really uh, you know, good, man. Good, man. One championship, man. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> uh, we'll put the, we'll be able to put the link on where people can watch the show. And with that, with that being said, uh, yeah, nikasa we wish you the best of luck in your fight. You know, Tamara is not an easy fight, but you know what? You're, go- you're, you're going, you're, uh, you're going, you're climbing up. You're going places is yes. what, what you're going places is what he's trying to say. But other than that, gambate, good luck. Yeah. Hope you do well, man. I got to go. Yes.